recognize our next guest from her cooking show on the Food Network. Let's find out what she's up to now. Amanda? There's nothing that Charlie loves more than naps and bacon. But when he's not sleeping or eating, he's busy being king of the ranch. Susie, Walter, Kitty Kitty, the cows, the horses, and even the troublemaking little chipmunk are back with one extra addition. Let's find out what that new addition is with author and Food Network star, Pioneer Woman Ree. Congratulations on yet another book. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Appreciate it. It is so adorable, and I can tell by this cover that I think I have an idea of what the new edition is, but let's hear it from the author herself. <laughs> Well, of course, I have uh, blogged about Charlie for years, and usually uh, on my blog, I post actual photos of him in real life scenarios on our ranch. And so uh, in the Charlie books, I do the same thing. And Charlie and the New Baby is absolutely based on something that really happened in our lives on the ranch. Um, of course, we have a working cattle ranch with cows and calves being born. And uh, one night, a couple of years ago, uh, a calf was born, and we had to bring it into our house overnight because she was in a little bit of trouble, wasn't doing very well. So um, we brought her into the house. She slept in Charlie's bed. Uh, the kids gave her a bath, uh, covered her up with Charlie's blanket. So Charlie's world was totally turned upside down. His mind was completely blown. <laughs> you know, because Charlie, he is a ranch dog, and he's used to seeing calves outside. But when we brought the calf inside, he just didn't quite know what to do with himself. So the story is based on that and, and shows kind of uh, Charlie's turnaround and how he assimilates this new baby coming into the mix. And it wound up really being the perfect parallel to that age-old story, uh, you know, when a new baby does come into a house with, with kids and, you know, how the kids have to have to get used to the new baby. I just uh, told the story using canines and bovines instead of, of human babies. <laughs> Which but I think it's a really fun story. Um, kids really relate to Charlie. He's, he has so many funny little Basset Hound qualities that kids just find irresistible and charming. He's, he loves to take naps. Okay, he's lazy. I'll just say it. Um, he loves to eat bacon, uh, loves to take naps. And if kids can't relate directly to him, they just think he's adorable and cute. He's got long, floppy ears. So I love writing books about Charlie, and I think this might be my favorite. <laughs> and Marie, you have your hands dipped in so many different things. What was it about being an author and writing a children's book that really got you fired up? Well, you know, Charlie came first, and I wrote about him so much and uh, told stories through his eyes from his perspective so much that it really kind of was a natural evolution. I never would have thought, you know, years and years ago that I would be a children's book author, um, and it never really occurred to me uh, that I would be, but the more I wrote about Charlie, the more it just seemed like um, kind of a natural thing to do. And um, Diane DeGroat does the beautiful illustrations, and I always say I think she must have just fallen out of the sky because somehow she captures all of Charlie's um, expressions, um, places on our ranch. It's as if she's been there. So it really has been such a fun part of, of Pioneer Woman. I, I love writing cookbooks, of course, because food is my life. <laughs> but um, I really love writing about Charlie. I enjoy it. It's, it's just a blast. And that was actually going to be my next question about the illustrations, because they, they're so real. Yes, they're gorgeous and so colorful. And anyone who's visited my website, um, The Pioneer Woman, sees that I love color. I love, you know, I love bright, beautiful uh, scenes. And, and Diane does that so perfectly in the books, I think. Just, just uh, the perfect match, I think, for Charlie. Henry, please tell our viewers where they can pick up a copy of this fabulous book. Well, uh, Charlie and the New Baby is really anywhere you can find children's books. It'll be there um, along with the other Charlie books. And um, also my website has information. Thepioneerwoman.com is my site. Excellent. Ree, thank you so much for your time this morning and congratulations again. Thank you, Amanda. And don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.